Nancy Chodorow's The Reproduction of Mothering Theory Nancy Chodorow's theory of the reproduction of mothering is a pivotal feminist psychoanalytic framework that explores how the mother-child relationship shapes gender roles and the perpetuation of mothering across generations. Drawing from psychoanalysis, sociology, and feminist theory, Chodorow's work challenges traditional understandings of gender identity and family structure. Her theory argues that the practice of mothering is not biologically determined but socially constructed and reproduced through emotional, psychological, and relational patterns between mothers and children. At the core of Chodorow's theory is the idea that the mother is the primary caregiver, a role that profoundly affects the psychological development of both male and female children. Chodorow builds on Freudian psychoanalysis but diverges from Freud's male-centered framework, offering a more nuanced analysis of the mother-child bond. In traditional psychoanalytic theory, the father is often seen as the key figure in a child's development, particularly in shaping the superego and gender roles. Chodorow, however, shifts the focus to the mother, asserting that the relationship between the mother and child is crucial in the formation of gender identity, emotional development, and the societal expectations of parenting roles. Chodorow argues that the early attachment to the mother is different for boys and girls, which leads to divergent gender identities and behaviors. Female children, according to Chodoro, remain more closely identified with their mothers because of the shared gender identity. This identification fosters a sense of empathy and relational orientation in girls, which is then internalized and carried into adulthood. As women grow up, their early identification with their mothers leads them to take on nurturing, caregiving roles, ultimately reproducing the cycle of mothering. For boys, the developmental trajectory is different. To form a distinct masculine identity, boys must psychologically separate from their mothers. This process, Chodorow explains, involves a rejection of the feminine, leading boys to define themselves in opposition to their mothers. The result is that men often develop a more autonomous, less relational identity compared to women. This psychological distancing from the mother contributes to the perpetuation of traditional gender roles, where men are more focused on individualism and public life, while women are more inclined toward relationships and caregiving. The consequence of these gendered patterns of attachment is the continued reproduction of traditional family structures, where women are expected to be the primary caregivers and men are more distanced from domestic responsibilities. Chodorow's theory sheds light on why mothering, despite social changes, remains primarily a female responsibility across generations. She contends that this pattern is not due to any inherent biological difference between men and women, but rather the result of deeply ingrained psychological and social processes that begin in early childhood. Chodoro also highlights how these gendered experiences of parenting create emotional and psychological costs for both men and women. For women, the identification with the mother and the assumption of caregiving roles can lead to an overinvestment in relationships and a diminished sense of autonomy. This can create challenges for women as they struggle to balance their own needs with the expectations placed upon them to nurture others. On the other hand, men, who are often socialized to distance themselves from emotional connection and caregiving, may suffer from a lack of emotional intimacy and relational skills. This, in turn, can affect their ability to form close relationships and engage in nurturing roles as fathers or partners. One of the most important contributions of Chodorow's theory is its explanation of how the mothering role is transmitted from generation 
to generation. Chodoro argues that because women are more likely to grow up with a strong identification with their mothers, they are more likely to replicate the role of the mother when they become parents themselves. This reproduction of mothering is reinforced by social structures, cultural expectations, and personal psychological experiences that position women as the natural caregivers in society. Men who grow up distancing themselves from the maternal role are less likely to see themselves as caregivers and are more inclined to take on roles outside the domestic sphere. Chodoro's work is critical for its emphasis on the social construction of gender roles and its challenge to biological determinism. While many traditional theories of gender and family life suggested that women's caregiving roles were natural or instinctive, Chodoro's psychoanalytic approach argues that these roles are learned and reproduced through social and emotional experiences. Her theory points to the potential for change in family dynamics by disrupting the psychological patterns that assign women the primary responsibility for caregiving. Chodoro also engages with the feminist critique of psychoanalysis. While psychoanalytic theory has historically been criticized for its male bias, Chodoro uses psychoanalysis as a tool to uncover the unconscious processes that shape gender identity and social roles. By focusing on the role of the mother and the mother-child relationship, she provides a feminist reinterpretation of psychoanalytic theory that accounts for women's experiences and challenges the marginalization of women in both psychoanalysis and society at large. Chodoro's The Reproduction of Mothering also has important implications for understanding the relationship between gender and power. By highlighting how gender roles are reproduced through early family dynamics, her theory shows how patriarchal structures are maintained not only through external social institutions but also through the intimate, emotional dynamics of the family. This reproduction of mothering ensures that women continue to take on the primary responsibility for caregiving, thereby reinforcing gender inequality both in the home and in the broader social context. One of the strengths of Chodoro's theory is its interdisciplinary approach, drawing from sociology, psychology, and feminist theory to provide a comprehensive analysis of gender and family dynamics. Her work has been influential in shaping feminist scholarship, particularly in the areas of gender identity, parenting, and psychoanalysis. By linking the personal experiences of mothering with broader social structures, Chodoro's theory offers a powerful critique of traditional family roles and provides a path toward rethinking the ways in which gender roles are constructed and maintained. In conclusion, Nancy Chodoro's theory of the reproduction of mothering offers a groundbreaking perspective on the psychological and social processes that perpetuate gender roles and the practice of mothering across generations. Her psychoanalytic approach provides valuable insights into how early childhood experiences shape gender identity and the division of labor within families. By focusing on the mother-child relationship and the psychological patterns that emerge from it, Chodoro challenges biological explanations of gender roles and highlights the social construction of motherhood. Her work remains a critical contribution to feminist theory, psychoanalysis, and the sociology of family life offering a framework for understanding the reproduction of gender roles and the potential for change in how society approaches caregiving and parenting.